One of the most dominant athletes in 2023 is unquestionably Jakob Ingebrigtsen. This man has been the absolute king of middle distance running, and nobody has really gotten close to his greatness this season. At the 2023 Diamond League meeting in Silesia, Poland, we once again saw an absolute masterclass from Jakob Ingebrigtsen. In this race, he set a new continental record and now became the fourth fastest men's 1500 athlete of all time, clocking a magnificent time of 3 minutes 27.14 seconds, which now places him just ahead of Noradine Morsali from Algeria. This was an amazing performance as Ingebrigtsen really took the bull by the horns. In fact, he even brought out three specific pacers to help him run a fast time. This is really a big attempt for Jakob Ingebrigtsen to get closer and perhaps under the 3 minute and 27 second barrier. But what really impressed me about this race was not just how far he was ahead of everyone else, but how he paced this race. As you can see, over the first few laps, the pacers were about a second in front of him, and even though it must have been enticing at the time, Ingebrigtsen stayed back and stayed disciplined. And when we take a closer look at this man's splits, we can see that he was on a mission, on a mission of insane consistency, and he clearly knew what he was doing. Through the opening 400, he hit a time of 55.8. Through the 800 meters, he ran a time of 151.6. Through the 1200 meters, he was at 246.9. And of course, by 1500, he finished at 327.14. However, just take a look at this 100 meter breakdown because it is practically a consistent raising of the pace all the way through the finish line. Through the opening 400, he was right around 14 seconds per 100 split. And then through the next 400, he was close to 14, and then he was also at 13.8 through the 800. Through the next 400, he went 13.9, 13.8, 13.8, 13.8. And for his final 300, check this out. This man went 13.5, 13.4, and he finished at 13.3 seconds. This is unreal pacing, and Ingebrigtsen has once again proven his masterclass level of greatness in this area, but what really makes me excited is knowing that he has been able to do this for a few years now, and this is clearly the type of split times that showcase even more potential, because it is crucial to run fairly consistent splits, but to be constantly accelerating all the way through the finish and still run the fourth fastest 1500 of all time is just legendary. Now, after the race, Ingebrigtsen said he is not going to run any more Diamond League events up until the World Championships, meaning that he will be laser-focused on not just winning the 1500, but likely winning the 5000 meters as well. He was last year's World Champion over the 5000, he got second in the 1500, and given the fact that he has been dominating, and that Jake Whiteman will not be running in this year's World Finals, I cannot think of anyone that is going to challenge him unless the pace is ridiculously slow and someone comes out from the back with a devastating kick. But here's the thing, Ingebrigtsen is not going to let that happen. He is a true master of pacing, and he even had the confidence in himself to say that even after the pacers drop out up front, he essentially becomes the pacer, and even at that point, nobody can catch him. Clearly, Ingebrigtsen's confidence is at an all-time high, and looking at these splits just really tells you the full story of where this man is right now. This is the kind of split times that we rarely see, and it's something that certainly proves that he can run under 3 minutes and 27 seconds. And with all this in mind, I would love to hear from all of you on what you think he will do in this year's World Championships. Will he win the 1500? Will he win the 5000? Will he do the double? And if he does, what times will he reach in the World Finals? Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, Ingebrigtsen is a beast.